Today, I'm giving the Brewers an unlimited bank account to spend whatever the heck they want on a God Squad. Because we all know this offseason in particular, the Brewers really have not swiped that credit card very much. I mean, they're taking their Cy Young Corbin Burns to arbitration over 700K. A guy that already is technically being underpaid. So that's how cheap they are. As a Rays fan, I think I can say that they're the Rays of the NL. So just like the Rays, giving them unlimited money would be absolutely disgusting for their team. Because if I'm being honest, the Brewers have a fantastic young core. Obviously, you guys know quite a few of these guys, Corbin Burns, Devin Williams, Brennan Woodruff, Freddie Peralta. But the biggest problem is a lot of those top guys are uh, pitchers and there's basically no offense with the Brewers. We got Willie Adamas, who's been in trade talks recently. We got William Contreras, by the way, this year. This was an A-plus move from the Brewers, so I'm very happy with that. Got Abraham Tor that we also just recently got this year. We got Christian Yelich. I hope to God that this dude finds Jesus and comes back to life because my boy's been in a three-year slumber. After that, Eric Lauer, Tyron Taylor, Wade Miley, the, the rest really don't matter, to be honest. But this team has so much potential. They just spend a little bit of money to absolutely dominate the NL Central. So that's what we're going to be doing for them today. I'm going to be using that unlimited credit card and we're going to be swiping. This year we finish off 81 and 81. Oh my God, dude. What was that? Standings him in third place. And once you look at that, the Cubs and the Cardinals both beat us in the NL Central. We can't have that, dude. That is not happening anymore on my watch. Uh, -uh. Let's go ahead and get to the fringe scene. Get this thing going, dude. Come on, baby. Here we go. The amount of guys that are here right now. And we have 125 million if we cared about the money. We're just going to go. The first order of business. I see a lot of great starting pitchers right here, but the first thing I need is a very, very good offense. Now, it really doesn't have to all come together in 2023 and 2024. We can wait just a little bit, but if I get the right dudes in this place, we're probably never going to lose another game because we are going to have that God squad. The first thing I'm going to need, outfield, I'm going Ian Happ. We do still have a pretty decent outfield as it is, but come on. Ian Happ is so incredibly good for this game. I got to get him. Not to mention second base, third base, center field, and right field in the secondary positions. The dude's a switch hitter. Need I say more? My guy's a beast. And not to mention, we're going to be stealing from the Cubs, which is huge for me. After that, we got center field. We got Jackson probably going to be taking over this year. We really don't need anybody as of right now. If like a Luis Robert pops up or somebody that I think that could take over and be great, I'll get him. But for right now, I'm chilling. Right field, though, it's a little bit different story. We got to get a right fielder. I mean, for Christian Yelich, my boy could just be the DH. If I'm being 100% honest, I'm just going to get Hunter Renfro back. The guy only wants 12 million a year after putting up 20 home runs and less than 400 at bats. I guess it's okay enough. Now, the last thing we're doing for the infield, at least, is I'm going out and getting Reese Hoskins. My dude's coming off a terrible year, by the way. Five home runs in a 225. Absolutely terrible. So let's hope that he can do good for the next two seasons because I need him to. After that, come on, guys. We got to go with the pitching. Let's get it, baby. Shohei Otani, I have to at least try it. I would be so incredibly dumb if I didn't at least put an offer in there. So 13 years, 455. Please, Shohei, come to Milwaukee, baby. We got a lot of cheese, all right? up. Luis Castillo's looking great, dude. Look at the years that he's put in. I mean, mixing Castillo in with Corbin Burns, Bernard Woodruff, Freddy Peralta, hopefully Shohei Otani. Like, dude, that really is just too good to pass up on. So I got to go for it. After that, we're really just going to the bullpen. Now, what else do we need? We got Ronaldo Lopez out here. We got Jose Alvarado. We got Joe Jimenez. There is definitely some options here, boys. Also, hey, look, we could possibly get a reunion going with Josh Hader. How much does my boy want, though? It's not going to matter, but 21 million. Oh, God. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to pay him what he wants. 152 for a closer. That is just absolutely crazy. There we go. That's all the offers for this year. We're pretty much going to change this entire team around in one season if we actually get all these guys. Joe Otani, Luis, Hunter Renfro. I mean, just go down the list and you guys can see it. It's gross. The amount of qualifying offers that we're actually getting here too, we're going to be left with zero draft picks. But again, I don't care. Let's just go. Let's hope that we... Wow, that was quick. Game? All right, coach. I see what you're doing to me, dude. The Brewers have reached their maximum roster size and cannot sign any more free agents. Well, that's kind of a gigantic problem. How many guys do we get? Okay, first, Shohei Otani. Welcome to Milwaukee, baby. Got Ronaldo as well. Is that it? Are you serious? We had two spots open. Dog, how many guys in Class A do we need? We have 18. Also, I really hope Franchise gets updated next year because, dude, the amount of garbage that's in here. Like, right now, I have 17 people in Class A, and that's technically too much. Like, like a real organization could have way more than just 90 players. So it's pretty stupid to have that rule, but whatever. Let me go out, get rid of some guys, go back and sign the dudes who we were looking for. All right, Brewers 2024, how we doing? First off, Shohei Otani. I mean, bro, look how good this dude looks. I mean, if I'm being real, he does look a little weird in this jersey, but still, I like it. I like that he's just going to be on the team helping us. We got Castillo finally. We got Ian Happ as well. Josh Hader's back here where he belongs. So many good guys are here to help us compete. Also, 
my boy Hunter Renfro went to a different team after we had the whole incident in free agency. So I went out and got Tay Oscar. My boy's still gonna kill it. But hey, guys, I think we're ready for 2024. Let's take it. I'm still not 100% sold on the offense, even though we're doing incredibly good this year. But I still feel like that offense needs to be dialed up by like one or two more notches. After that, we're gonna be in such a great spot. At the trade line, this is what I was looking for. 73 and 35. A complete turnaround. It only took like, well, two hundred million dollars in free agency but still if i do take a look at the lineups though we have jackson out there in center field not off to the greatest rookie season that i was hoping for my guy has a 220 on the average with six home runs out of almost 400 at bats not good now i still completely believe in this guy's potential but i just want to make sure of something first there's one dude that i feel like could possibly be on the trade market if we give him a good enough package and the first thing we got to do is check to see how the angels are doing 55 and 55 okay the blue Jays and the orioles are doing incredibly good so that's going to lock up the East. We got the Central with the Twins running that thing. And then we got the Astros and the Rangers for the West. I'm thinking we could finesse the Angels. And I think you guys already know who I'm going for. I'm not going for no Taylor Ward. I'm not going for no David Fletcher. I'm going for the top dog, baby. Mike Trout, come on. Dude, if we get Mikey Poo, are you kidding me? How's my boy doing this year? At 32 years old, so he is going down a little bit. He's getting ready to die in this game. But the guy's still hitting a 272 with 24 home runs, 27 doubles, and three triples. Mikey, what's the war looking like? Baby, what you got? A 4.4. He's still Mike Trout. Come on. Let me do my best to put together a package because they still have Brian Reynolds as insurance behind them. I think it's time Brian takes over. So Jackson. Wow. We can almost do a one for one. Okay. That's wow. Okay. That's a little bit sketch. That surprised me so bad. It stopped me dead in what I was saying. But we're also going to go Matt Bush, uh, right? At 38 years old, they'll take him. Please, God, take the contract. Christian Yelich, he's hitting a 189. Please, dude. If this works right here, Jackson, Matt Bush, and Christian Yelich, I'm done, bro. Coach, what type of drugs are the Angels on? For Mike Trout, they're basically doing a one-for-one. One. I mean, that's all this is. They're just taking on a bunch of salary in Jackson. That's all right, yo. Congratulations, Angels. You got absolutely finesse. And we got one of the greatest outfielders in MLB history that is insane baby now look at this freaking team also william Contreras at a 92 my boy's killing it this year what the heck this is what i've been looking for the entire time reese hoskins how we looking not bad for the first base and then second base we probably are going to be getting a better second baseman next year but still let's see how the second half is going to trade us and there we go it's still so surreal the brewers acquired trout from the angels what an absolute blockbuster <laughs> brewers this year finished a 108 and 54 not a bad little run for an nl central team for a, i don't I don't think a team's gonna get 105 plus in the NL Central for the next 10 years. This is crazy, but we did it in less than a year. Let's go, baby. Awards real quick for this year. We got Josh Hader for the delivery man of the year. Let's go. I'm so happy to have him back. Corbin Burns for the Cy Young, beautiful, and Ian Happ for the gold glove. Boys, let's get it going. Shohei Otani versus Adbert in Chicago for game one. Won that one by one. Absolutely insane first game. Luis Castillo versus Marcus. 11 to 1 for game two. You could not ask for better. And then Brennan Woodruff finished it all off for his Jameson Tyon. Oh, wow. Okay. Got shut out in that game. Jameson Tyon better get an absolute fat bag. Corbin Burns versus Miles, and we won that. Okay. Good fight to the Cubs. We move on to the Braves now. Otani versus Soroka now in the Braves. Please, God, go 2-0. Castillo, please bring it back or not. Okay, guys. Brennan Woodruff versus Kyle Wright. There we are. We're finally getting it back. Come on, Shohei. Bring it back, baby. 2-2. Two, two. There we go. Corbin Burns. 3-2. Oh, my God. Is Atlanta turned out to be the new Mets? Please, Luis, finish it off right here. Or not. I shouldn't have said anything. Brennan Woodruff versus Spencer Strider. An absolute crazy game right here. And we won it by one. Oh, my God. Well, guys, I wasn't really expecting to make it to the World Series in uh, 2024. But here we are. First, Boston. Boston? Boston? Dog. Verdugo's a 90 overall. Okay. How the heck did this team make the World Series? I'm just going to be honest. Who's carrying them? Why is Joey such a god? Six home runs and a 522. Dude, Washington. Why the heck did you let him go? Let's just get it going. Shohei Otani, game one versus Chris Sale. What a freaking time to be alive. Won that one by one. And thank goodness Shohei's at least given us a decent start. Castillo versus Noah Syndergaard with a 70 or right. Come on, Castillo. And I guess Noah decided to get some sleep. My guy woke up refreshed and decided to murder every single batter. That's cool. Freaking 0-1. Got shut out by the Red Sox. All right, Brennan Woodruff versus James Paxton. Please, dude. Okay, we lost to James. Shohei Otani, bring it back, baby. There we are, 7 out. Burns versus Chris Archer. If we lose to Archer, I'm going to do a lap and probably go to bed. Burns, please. Okay, 5-0. We're good. Potentially the last game right now, I got to go in. Come on, Brewers. I'm looking to get you guys that first ring, baby. We're going in right now with William Contreras. Right now, the MVP of this team, ironically, as we're 
grounding into a double play. Cool, guys. All right, get that play. Just flick it out your mind. It's a new day. Come on. But we're down by one. Bobber to the fourth. I got to get this thing going somehow. Also, look how big the PCI is for my boy William. And that's a little early. God dang it. Come on, Chris. Come on, Chris. Give us a good one. That's beautiful, baby. An absolute fat ding dong out of William right there. Unfortunately, it's a solo bomb, but still we tie it up. That's honestly all we need. Also, no freaking shot. He's going to run with 37 speed. He really is. Yeah, what are you doing? Gun him, please. And there we are. My boy Contreras been working on the defense a little bit, it looks like. But hey, we gave the team one. We did our job. We just got to let the rest of the team do a little bit of work. Yo, Chris, what happened? Dude, you a little nervous? Pitch to him. Pitch to him. There we go. Nice little single. And oh my God, my guy's going home. My guy's going home. Get down. He's in. And just like that, in game six, the Brewers take the lead. That is what we need. Let's keep doing that. Do not let the hype die down. Willie Adamas strikes out. That's cool. Back at it right now. Gone second base. They keep throwing lefties at us, by the way. They got Josh Taylor in there now. But please give me a good pitch. But please right. Ooh, that was going to be decent. But that was a slider. Got the one, two. Got to protect the plate with our life. We got one out. Come on. Ooh, what am I doing? Please run it out. No, that's a story. We're out. Okay. Hey, you know what? Whatever. It wasn't a strikeout. So that's a W in my book. But still, absolutely terrible. Went for a pitch in the dirt. But we win the World Series, baby. That right there is all that matters. Now, I am so incredibly happy that we got the Brewers. Their first world series but they're not necessarily a god squad yet we probably have to go back to back for that so hey don't go anywhere we still got a lot more building to do and we still got one more world series to win free agents here we go who wants to join the reigning champs again we're looking for a second baseman and hello pete alonzo what's up boys back to the main focus though infield preferably second base and it's pretty deep i'm not gonna lie jeff mcneil glaber if we really don't care about second base at all brennan lau my boy what else do we got we got alex bregman over there at third base shortstop we got Isaiah kind of falafa all right. If I want to make every single Brewer fan pissed at me, I'll go get him. Let's just go ahead and do it. Let's dip the toes in the water of the Jeff McNeil pool and let's get my boy. Is there really anybody else that we want though? Like any more guys in the bullpen? Possibly. All right, hold on. Maybe just one more guy. That's really all we need. A power righty? Kind of like a Sir Anthony Dominguez type of power righty? That might be perfect, dude. I mean, Andrew Kittredge as well. Fantastic. Again, one of my favorite players on the Rays, by the way. But honestly, I'm still kind of leaning towards Sir Anthony. I'm not going to lie. For this game, I think I got to do it. The guy's young. Younger. He's going to be a little bit better for longer. I'm just going to roll with it. 38 over four years. Let's hope that he signs that contract. And from there, we should be good. Actually, no, we're not. Juan Soto's getting offered 70 million for five years. I didn't know the Padres out of nowhere turned into Oakland. Let me go out and pay my guy. He's not going to get nearly what he's going to get in real life. I'll at least give the guy a respectable contract for us. 250 over 10. Hopefully he signs the deal. And yo, that didn't take long. Less than a day. We got Juan Soto. Beautiful, baby. We also got Sir Anthony. It's complete. Let's run this thing back for 2020. Five. Opening day for the Brewers. We're coming in third place after winning the World Series. That's a bit of a yikes. I don't know that the game goes off of like ESPN power rankings, but whatever. Also, what's the budget? I gotta look. We are $80 million in debt. The player salaries, though, I'm not gonna lie, still lower than the Mets. I kind of like it. Let's go, boys. Bruh, cheer. But look how good this team's gonna be. We got Shohei Otani, Mike Trout, by the way, reunited. That right there just deserves a like. We got both these guys' World Series rings. Again, Josh Hader back where he belongs. This entire team is a work of art. I'm so happy with it. We had a lot of pressure this year to accomplish a lot. Nothing tying the LB record is a good start. 116 and 46 for the Brewers. Again, absolutely destroying the NL Central. Awards, again, I gotta take a look. Shohei Otani, Cy Young, my boy. And Luis Castillo for the gold glove. Absolutely perfect. Pete Alonso, by the way, stole the MVP from Mike Trout. My boy had 10 triples, by the way, this year. And an 8.2 war. Dude, Himothy. My boy Trout's just Himothy. Also, the guy that I'm super proud of out of this entire team is Willie Adamas. My boy's posted up 38 home runs, 110 RBIs with a 265. Again, the strikeouts are incredibly high, but that's just Willie. But for a guy that was already on the Brewers, that's so incredibly good. Let's get it going. And yo, this run is not going to be easy. Shohei, please give us a good first game versus Lucas Giolito. Won that one. That's what we needed. All right, Brent. Brandon, game two. And God dang it, we lost it. Dude, Brandon has a seven ear right. That is terrible. Corbin, we paid you a lot of money. Bring it back. There we are. Beautiful. Did exactly what it needs to do. Castillo, same to you. And we did it. All right. Good job, guys. Braves now. Again, it's not going to get any easier. Shohei Otani versus Spencer Strider. One of that. Woodruff, we got to run it back a little bit. I'm going to forget about the Dodgers game. Just please do better this time around. And he won. Beautiful. All right, that's all we needed. Castillo versus Ian Anderson. Won that as well. 3-0. And then Corbin Burns to absolutely put the nail in the coffin for the Braves. And we lost. All right, never mind. Shohei Otani. Possibly this time? 
Okay, guys, really? Woodruff, please? That got way too close, but we did it. Versus the Twins now. You can't make this up. Versus the Red Sox, now the freaking Twins. Coach, you can't be serious right now. Hey, the team's kind of looking real deal. I'm not even gonna lie. Look at this catcher that they have, by the way. Yo, Carlos Silva, 21-86 overall. Dude, where did you guys find him? It doesn't matter. Let's just try to beat the brakes off him. Shohei Otani versus John Means for game one. One of that 3-0. Bruno Woodrow versus Jordan for game two. Lost it by one. Who the heck lost it? Hobie Milner. Why the heck do we have Milner still playing? I thought I retired that guy, but I guess not. Corbin Burns versus Randy Dobnik, the Uber driver. Don't you dare lose to an Uber driver. There we are. If Corbin Burns actually lost to the Uber driver, I would have been so concerned because we gave him, well, you know, like $312 million. So I would have been for sure peeing my pants. But either way, Luis Castillo, come on. One of that one as well. 3-1, I gotta go in. This is for the back-to-back. -back. This is so we can play Drake nonstop. Actually, you know what? I'm putting back-to-back -back in the headphones right now. I gotta do it. I gotta get the energy set. Mike Trout, great play, by the way. First play of the game, basically, for the Twins. All right, we got it. We got back-to-back -back playing. We're setting the tone. Top of the third, 2-0 already. We gotta go back-to-back, -back. Mike. Oh, God. Bro, that was hit to Canada. It just went foul. That's so sad. And now let's go straight to Correa. Cool. All right. I got to relax. I got to not be so early. We got to go on first. Top of the fourth. It's still 4-0 without us doing a single thing as... Oh, my God. Yo, the third baseman. What type of witchcraft was that, dude? My dude appeared before the ball. That was some garbage. 1-1 one, one count. 4-1 to one in the top of the seventh. That's going directly over the pitcher. We'll take it. Another single. At least we're getting on base for the boys. That's really all we need. And Williams got the full count with two outs. All right, we have to run. We literally have to go. Please, well, please, we'll just put this thing in the gap or walk. That's cool, too. Luis, he's got the 0-2. That's not going to end well. This is not going to end well for us, is it? And, oh my God, maybe? Oh, bro, it was a single. Okay. The 0-2 single. You don't see that very often well we'll take it another rbi scored and hopefully that should be the nail in the coffin oh baby 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 six to one top of the ninth right now we're about to battle versus jorge this is gonna be good that's just a bomb threat at the gate i wasn't expecting a meatball served up to me though i thought it was gonna be a battle that's why i said a battle versus jorge but it was a straight meatball sandwich right in front of me we hit a home run though with mike trout in the world series that's all i needed to do that's all i cared about as we win our second world series in a row solidifying the god squad and the dynasty it just took like 300 mil so brewers get on it start swiping